In 1948, the first great legend of the modern era left his indelible imprint on the game. His name was Jack Kyle. Playing rugby, he just had a natural ability. He had pace, a bit like Cliff Morgan. His acceleration over about 20 yards was just phenomenal. He also had a great gift. He took the ball near the gain line so that he wasn't a long way back. And when he got the ball, he could quickly accelerate past the gain line and he then had breached the defence. He often would go on and score himself. But even if he couldn't, he had a wonderful left foot and he could drop the ball on a sixpence and the centres would, would, would know exactly where, where Jack would, would kick ahead. He did a lot of kicking then, but he was, he, he was the master at it. He had this devastating burst out over 20, 30 yards and nobody could catch him if he got anything. Some of his scores, if he got any sort of uh, leeway at all, some of his scores, some of his tries are, are, are tremendous. Kyle was a, an instinctive player. He did things that he didn't even think about himself. I think one has always got to remember that these things are done at a subconscious level. You know, we, you don't really, you don't really think I'm going to cut this way or I'm going to do that. I'm going. I'm, I mean, you get the ball gets into your arms and suddenly a, a, an opening appears and away you go and you suddenly realise you're through and that this is really all at a subconscious level. We did help Jack a lot, you know, because we'd hold the ball, we'd sort of hold the ball and hold the ball, hold the ball and 20 minutes and the other team would think, what, this fellow Kyle, what's to him? And then suddenly we'd release him and Jack would be gone, gone like a flash. Terrific acceleration. Mm -hmm.